Ranvi, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Before that time, it would be best to keep all discussions about... ...about us... ...to yourself. Of course. Now is not the time. I have no guilt, no regret for what we have done. But we should be careful. Agreed. Thank you. And know that, however far away... ...you are always in my thoughts. I know. I feel the same. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. 